Hello my soccer universe, believe it or not, finally a Europa League group stage jersey review. Um, why Europa League be ahead of League uh, Well, the Europa League group stage is almost over at the time of recording, we have match day 5. Um, and so I feel this a little bit more pressing and we'll go into League uh, um, some other time. Uh, with the Europa League I have one little problem that of this year's group stage I have only 4 teams where I have jerseys from which are all on the back here. Lusk, Arsenal, Roma, Manchester United. Three of which are arguably Champions League teams. So yeah, um, and I will have to pull down. I mean, for Lusk and Roma I have spares, but for Arsenal and United I will have to replace them with a Lusk or a Roma jersey once we get to that review. So I will wear, as always, a jersey of a team that's in the group. If I have one, and if I don't, I pick a national team jersey from the country. Which now for Group A, uh, well, the only national team that I have a jersey of, and I have to see if I can make it through all of it. I think I will. I can make it through all the groups uh, with pulling a jersey. For Group A, Sevilla, Spain. I decided on the white Spain jersey that, that I have, my first Spain jersey. Um, for two reasons, A, white and red are Sevilla's colors and I actually think that the Spanish national really, from what I hear, really matters down there in Andalusia. So I think it's not a wrong choice. Enough babbling, let's get to the jerseys and we'll start. I'll go how the pots were put. Um, um, A, one, two, four. I was thinking, shall I do it the other way around? But nah, let's do it this way. Um, we already saw Sevilla in my La Liga jersey review. Um, they have Nike jerseys uh, for the second uh, season in a row. This time, yeah, it's still templated, but a little bit something special though. Uh, the home jersey is as always totally white and then they added a black color with a little bit of red taping on the back. I'm not so sold on the black, to be honest. I really love the Sevilla uh, crest. I know Sevilla jersey is something that I have to get. I Yesterday was uh, Black Friday and I ordered some Black Friday jerseys for the, especially the videos. <sighs> Unfortunately, the Sevilla jerseys were not cheap enough to be featured. Uh, here is the unsponsored version in the Europa League. Here is the sponsored version with Marathon Bet on there, which is also in the same colors. I think this looks overall fine, but it's in a way very generic and that's why I give this only five stars. The away jersey is a little bit more special. I actually like this one. The red with the white sleeves is a little bit uh, Arsenal Braga like but overall it looks really sharp. I'm just I don't think they have used it in the Europa League as far as I know even if I did uh, yeah the white sleeves can make some trouble but I think this uh, looks really nice. I give it seven stars. Gonna stick with that. And the third jersey, I think overall looks fine. I like the blue and it has actually been used uh, during the Europa League uh, twice, I think. Um, Dudelange and uh, not Apoel, um, Karabakh, I think they played. Well, yeah, whatever. Um, I like the blue, I like the white, I like the red. There's nothing wrong with that. I just don't find blue a severe color, to be honest. And for that reason, it's you. It's just there for it being blue, not uh, for any other reason, also monochromatic crest and so on. Color-wise, fine. Other than that, I'm not so sold on it. And for that reason, only four stars. So let's move to um, teams that we haven't seen so far because they're not in the top four leagues and we have started of course with Apoel from pot two and yeah I'm it's a Macron jersey I have to say there is something I like about it I like this kind of almost half half look except for the sleeves if the sleeves would not switch that would make it even better so but in principle I think it's a really nice looking uh, jersey it's very unique uh, in its way that you know it's not a complete half half it has some stripes to it so uh, that I do like um, the sponsor though hmm. I understand the black and then the yellow but uh, it's a little bit too much I actually think if I look at the crest even white but then white and yellow it doesn't also make sense I don't know how to make it better to be honest but it's a little bit ruins it and for that reason I'm yeah 
Also note around the collar, the, um, on the back, the yellow strap is a little bit like um, uh, the Nike kits from 2016. <sighs> I'm gonna give this six stars. Uh, I really like the away jersey though. I like this uh, blackish grayish that has this sash in there. Here the sponsor doesn't ruin it. And then the collar in the two colors, that's really a great look. Uh, really strong overall. Um, that's a straight eight stars for me, which is something I cannot really say for the third kit. Uh, Macron is trying a little bit too much here. Yes, Abuel, uh, I think they've used some color like that, but it's a little bit, yeah. Why orange? Why orange? I, if it was all yellow or blue, but I know there's not enough contrast, so you have to take that into account too. But um, it leaves me cold, and then this weird gradient in there. Nah, it's also uh, four stars. I would say at least the sponsor does not get lost as on the home jersey. From pot three, we have Karabag Agdam. Uh, we have seen uh, Karabag in last year's um, Europa League, they have been in Champions League as well, we know they're also black and white and Adidas is giving you a classic uh, black kit with white accents and then uh, I find this in interesting, the white um, piping around the sleeves. Other than that, uh, it's nothing special but it doesn't look bad at all I have to say, so um, that is I think a strong seven and the away kit uh, does the same thing, it reverses it. Uh, it's They always do the same thing there. Again, not a bad look. Um, maybe the white looks a little bit more generic than the black and for that reason I'm just not feeling it as much as with the black one. It's a strong kit but I'll give it only six stars. And then the last one is Dudelange and uh, supplied by Yako. I need a Yako jersey in my collection, I realize, don't have one. Um, they played almost all the games in their uh, white home kit um, with black, which is a typically Yako template. We will see this again, and we saw this already at the Asian Cup. You know, uh, the black stripe here, then something on the side, and then um, shadow striping, hor hor horizontal shadow striping or hoops, and then the Yako balls going down. Doesn't look bad, it also doesn't look super fancy uh, for that reason. I think, yeah, the sponsor is a little bit too huge. I mean, it's smaller in the, it's smaller in the Europa League. Uh, five or six, somewhere there. Let's say six. Uh, the uh, away jersey, which was worn at Sevilla, had to be worn there. Uh, is neon yellow and I'm honest, honestly, I know, I think even Lask did this once, they had once a white home kit and a neon yellow away kit uh, back when I started watching. I don't find it enough contrast, I would actually expect something different here. It's the same design, it's just neon yellow. It leaves me cold to be honest and for that reason, yeah. I'm also gonna give this, now let's give it five stars. It does something similar. Well, those were the kits in group A. Let me know which ones you liked. Let me also know where you uh, agree or disagree with me on my ratings. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you wanna see the upcoming videos and also my other jersey reviews that I did. And yeah, I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.